Marker, roller coaster by any standards. Is there anything more satisfying as a coach than watching your side battle for one another and problem solve on the fly like that? No, I think that's about as good as it gets, really. No, no, we we talked about it pre-game, didn't we? we we'd done the, all the prep we could. We knew they'd be fully loaded. Didn't expect Tuilagi coming back, potentially. Um, but I think it, all of that, actually, in a weird way, probably just added fuel to the fire. or no, Not fuel to the fires. We weren't angry about anything. It was more than just the fact that you know, we knew it would be tough. It's a long trip. It's a, oh, you know, it's a brilliant place to play rugby in the southwest of France. I mean, just knew it would be difficult. And, you know, for them to battle their way back from 21-5, um, you thought, oh, this could get messy. But just they've got incredible, which kind of work rate and respect for each other, I think. And that's, you know, sometimes fostered by staff, but mostly fostered by them. Discipline seemed to play a key part in tonight too. This was a Six Nations decider in the backyard of the World Champions with a sellout crowd. How did you frame that in a way that allowed them to keep cool heads when it mattered most? Yeah, it's something we've worked incredibly hard on. Um, we brought um, somebody in, Tom Hodgins, who, who specialises in, in dealing with that. Because I felt, you know, even last year when, when Alan and myself were, were running, you know, we, we would just capitulate too easily in certain situations and be too easy to score against. Uh, and I think it was definitely something we wanted to be uh, harder to play against and harder to, to score against. And oh, look, you know, they're a great side with lots of, well, A, a full-time international already and, um, you know, lots of top 14 players. So we know it would be difficult, but we just thought we had to hang in there. Um, and we thought we could, we, maybe we could be able to hurt them around the fringes a little bit as the game went on and, and we finally clicked. <laughs> So with all of that in mind, how essential was the Isaacs try on the stroke of half-time? Was that a real momentum swing in the fixture? It was, yeah. And look, sometimes there are, there are moments in games where you think, oh, it's going to get away from us if we concede here. And they were, the boys were very cool at half-time. Um, again, you know, we lost Ben just before half-time. We've, we've had lots of disruptions to players. And, but they talked really calmly, uh, you know, without emotion and just said, look, this is what we need to do. We need to get the first score. If we do, we're right back in this game. And, and so it proved. Just finally, you've coached a fair few of these age group sides now over the years, not, not to date you or to age you, but what makes this group special? And if you can, just tell us how proud you are stood there right now. Yeah, I, I think the, definitely the fact that there are no um, club matches back home has allowed us to have the, the majority of the players in for the duration of that. And look, France would you know definitely be suffering with, with players coming and going. It doesn't matter how good you are or how much you experience you're gaining in the top 14 uh, or probably do, that you know you're still trying to pull a, a team together and I think the fact that we've had our lads for the duration albeit with a few changes has been a, a big positive thank you so much for your time we won't keep you any longer because you need to go and celebrate you are the 2024 under 26 nations champions amazing thank you Claire take care